Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of me, Budget Gaming HD. And in today's episode, we will be covering prioritizing your gaming packets so you have the ultimate quality of service. So you don't want to miss that. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to set up your own quality of service on your own home MicroTik router. So if you do not know how to set up your own MicroTik router, never fear, I've got one right here. So head over there, check it out and come back to this video. However, stick around if you're confident in configuring your own MicroTik router and let's jump in. Let's jump into this tutorial. Before we click to log into our MicroTik via Winbox, you first need to establish what servers is your games connecting to. I play this game called Dota. There's a few servers that it does use. However, I am in the Europe side of things, so I'll be using Europe West. There are a few servers you can use. For the simplistic purpose for this video, I'll only be using one, and you can simply do a copy and paste and just follow your own initiative. If you do not know what servers you need to use, there's a simple website or just a simple Google you can use. I normally generally ping my servers before I use them just to make sure that they're active and I don't add anything irrelevant. You want to click connect. You want to go to firewall address list and you want to click on the blue button on the plus sign and you want to give it a name. I'll just call mine Dota Prioritizing. I'm going to use the IP address that I found. I'm going to add it and I'm going to say OK. I'm going to rename this to Dota Priorito. It just sounds better. I'm going to go to Mangle. I'm going to click on the plus sign. Advanced. Under the source address, I'll use the Dota Priorito. In the new Mangle rule list, under Action Mark Packet, and then give it the name of Dota Priorito or whatever your game is that you want to do. It can be CSGO or whatever. Now, before I continue this tutorial, you might be asking yourself why. Why are we doing this? Why are we discussing queues when we want to do quality of service? But the answer is very simple, more simple than what you might think. Imagine you're on a highway as presented here and you see all these little cars and buses. They just want to get to their destination. What makes one car or vehicle higher priority than the next? Well, it's simple. Maybe you've got an ambulance that needs to get to the hospital. You've got elderly folk that needs to get back or you just want to have school kids being on time for school. Now imagine all of these cars are your Facebook packets, Twitter, your bank, emails, telephony, your Uber Eats, Just Eat, or whatever packet your internet is sending. We're setting up traffic individually that's coming in and out of the network with certain queue types, with certain speeds. So for instance, we want to have a priority one on the ambulance that's driving through. There will be some sort of traffic officer guiding the traffic to come through first and then letting the other packets f follow. So in essence, you might give a lower priority to your Facebook pack because you don't mind that your photo takes an extra three seconds to upload, but when you're in an important game, you want that game to be prioritized and all the bandwidth for that game. Let's continue the tutorial. You want to click on queues on the left. If you do not know how to set up a queue for your network, there is a video on it. There's a full explanation on this topic that I've done in a previous video. Before you continue, I would strongly suggest to watch that and to get a good understanding of what queues and queue types are. You want to go to queue types. You want to click on the add button and we want to give it a name that is easy to understand or easy to remember um, you can call this name whatever you want to it is just basically for simplistic reasons for you to know what is where it's like giving it a it's just a tag a simple tag we want to go to PCQ and I want to give it a download rate of 20 megabytes I want to do exactly the same as I did before. This time I'm going to call it upload. Again, PCQ. And then we want to give it again 20 megabytes. You've noticed in this section that I'm creating a limit on my data priority of 20 megabytes. However, if you think about it logically, we want to set up queues for other packets as well, Facebook, etc., so on and so forth. So we want to make the Facebook server to be the lowest priority, let's say priority eight, with a download speed of maximum two megabytes. So if someone is on Facebook or Netflix or YouTube, they do not eat your bandwidth and your game as top quality. So let's say your network speed is only at 20 megabits, then you would want to set your bandwidth at 20 megabits as shown here. Big M is megabyte, a small m is megabit just keep that in mind and click apply 
You want to head over to the simple queue list. You want to click on the add button. I want to create a new simple queue and I just want to call it data priority. Click apply and then go to advanced. Click on the drop down list at the top packet marks and then choose data priority. Then the queue type needs to be upload for upload and download for download. I accidentally selected both to the upload, but you get the point. And then I want to make my priority one, the highest priority. Now, before I end this tutorial, remember you have to do this for each and every service that is running. If you can get the majority of the services that are running in your house, you would know if people are streaming Facebook, YouTube, whatever the streaming services are, Kodi, whatever is eating your bandwidth, you can set it so that those services get the lower priority and your gaming gets the higher priority. This is a lot of work. You're going to spend about two or three hours on your router doing this, but it is important to get the best quality of service. Thank you so much for watching. I really did enjoy making this episode for you and I hope you learned something here today. If you like my content, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and my ding dong to stay up to date with my latest content. And I shall see you in the next one.